So for the damned is here and today we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes for it. Hey everyone, Gameaholic here, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going through all the patch notes for Fort of the Damned which is actually 2.0.8 If you are new to this channel or you are enjoying my content please do consider hitting that subscribe button putting that notification bell on and also clicking the like button that would be very much appreciated So Sea of Thieves have got their Halloween version of an event and it is about Fort of the Damned and it says the frights and feels of Fort of the Dam promises plenty of riches to those brave enough to take on the challenge, but pirates can expect a whole range of new additions to the game. Beyond that, much anticipated instrument to a new duo crew arena option for all sloops. Sea dogs out there. So Fort of the Damned is the main focus for this. You have to go and get the six Flames of Fate, uh, which we did previously in last year's Halloween content. And then you have to go to the Fort of the Damned and you have to light the flames but you also need a ritual skull as well which you can get from various methods which i do believe are you can buy the voyage straight out from duke it can either cost doubloons or it can cost gold uh, you can actually get a chance of getting one from the wandering skeleton crews and i do believe you can just find one as well but, uh, we'll have to go through down into the patch notes to find for real like I said a minute ago, dupe Sluos in the arena as well, so now you can play with Sloops as well. You have to play with a minimum of two people, they've changed the way things work. You need a minimum requirement of crew members, so for Sloops you have to have two, and for Galleons you have to have three before your team can activate. Obviously there's new items in the Pirate Emporium and also in the Black Market, S separate videos are available for that. So we've got some new cosmetics in the Outpost as well, while Duke has begun the corner of the market with his Black Market exclusives, the uh, Outpost stores have begun uh, to up their efforts as well. They are now stuck in a, a range of cosmetics, or new cosmetics for players to further customise their Pirates. They spoke about this previously in developer updates, it is mainly to do with the female characters so the new features for this update are as follows we've got a banjo and a musical banjo instrument they did a nice little tease saying everyone was asked, asking for a new banjo uh, which we all know really we all want a new banjo kazooie uh, we really do honestly but they teased us with it and said that we're getting a banjo and we can uh, play away to our heart's content with a banjo now which is pretty cool there's also those what i spoke about briefly is the skeleton captain sighting so roaming around certain islands the uh, there can be skeleton captains like like basically when you're doing the order of souls the, the actual end boss of the crew is already wandering around you get a villainous school upon defeat and you also get a map as well pinpointing the location of a buried stash these stashes provide a range of high value rewards including a guaranteed ritual skull and a strong chance of digging up a reaper's chest there's also the accessibility for being able to just hold down the left trigger now that is in the settings there's new resolution scaling for pc uh, for, for, i think they're trying to support more 4k and there's also smile you son of a dot 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 and that's for defeating a shark by detonating a gunpowder keg in its vicinity will now earn the player the smile you son of a, a achievement okay so let's quickly go through the updates if i do remember to put the patch note link in the description which i do often forget uh, i will remember this time uh, you can check out all of the actual full patch notes but these are the updates for this fort of the damned update we've got the rag and bone crates that were previously in the previous event they are now have a chance to wash up on the shores allowing crews to continue unlocking persistent commendations this can now be delivered to sea post for five doubloons and no longer have a delivery time requirement reaper's chest payout has been increased to 25 doubloons from 15. the cursed chest payout uh, so the chest of sorrow and the chest of a thousand grogs are now worth significantly more gold so that's pretty cool and reputation too we've got defy the storm in a true death defying pirate style taunting the storm by wielding your sword now increases your chance of being struck by lightning and when it does strike expect it to pack a punch see you on the ferry that's what i was talking about with the fact that you need to potentially get that white flame to help you with the fall of the damned so the skeleton ship battles the clouds uh, they were previously in the three starting regions were around each one of the areas but on the edges 
they have now been moved to uh, they've been moved to the more more of the middle of the world so I expect that to be somewhere around near where the sea dogs tavern is the devil's raw skeleton ship battles is going to remain unchanged and that will definitely be staying over that way when you fire your pet out he's now going to come back with soot to make it more realistic when offering food to your pet or even someone else's they will now quickly numb away the treat picking up your pet uh, when selecting your pet from the pet chest located on your ship or an outpost they will now instinctively jump on your arm so that you can see them they've reduced the amount of the sword swing distance so the distance the sword swing can be reached has now been reduced that's pretty sad because that was always good for jumping over to things they've changed the visuals and audio experience for using the shroud breaker raining on your cargo improvements have now been made on how the cargo responds to rain in a range of environments Cargo run plants and silks should now only become wet from rain when players can see rain on their screen. They've added a load of ammo crates to the Sea Dogs Tavern exterior, uh, which means I think that is definitely to do with more of the skeleton crew fighting part. And cursed cannonballs, when held, cursed cannonballs now emit a purple or green light. There's a load of fixed issues as per usual. If you want to check those out, you can do so via the link in the bottom of my description because believe me there is a lot of them so it would take me a long time to go through them all but that seems to be the general crux of it all we've got new outfits we've got obviously the new fort to take on and worth pointing out as well that the fort is going to stay once the event is finished it's a permanent feature i think the other thing to point out as well is you can carry on doing the smuggler's fortune if you didn't manage to finish it i know there was a few problems in the first week of the event where it was not complete and it was taking a very silly amount of time so the good thing about that is now that the delivery time has been removed it will probably be a lot easier to complete if you haven't yet finished that part of the commendations off that's it for today's video uh, if there's any questions or anything you want to ask then do so in the comments section if you are new to this channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a great rest of your voyages guys and take care